Hey folks, how are you doing? So today is the uh, 20th of August uh, 2022 and here I am in downtown Sydney. Uh, you can see the Sydney Harbour Bridge right there in the background. Uh, there is the uh, Opera House. And I'm here uh, sort of like setting up my uh, camera or my uh, chest mount. Uh, I mean, I'm going to set up my GoPro here to go filming for you guys. So this is my little camera box that I use. I'm sort of uh, old school here. <laughs> so here I got my uh, GoPro 7, GoPro 7 Black. Uh, I like this camera because it's got the stability program built into it, but um, here I'm going to show you my old GoPro uh, Hero 3. This is my favorite one. I use this camera to film just about all my, uh, if you've seen all my videos on my Honda Zero Wing, I pretty much have used this camera uh, to film all those videos for you guys. So this is my favorite little camera, the GoPro Hero 3. It's quite old, but I just like it. It's so easy to use and I don't know, I guess I'm old school. But um, when I'm on my electric scooter, I actually use this camera because the GoPro Hero 7 Black because um, it actually has a stability uh, a program built into the camera so you don't get that shaky uh, footage. Now, um, when I'm on, on the silver wing, um, there's no need for any shaky footage. I mean, no need for any stability program because, uh, you know, I don't shake around that much. So I put this little camera on my uh, chin mount. So I'll show you my uh, strap here. Where is my strap? Here we go. I got my uh, strap here, chest strap and I just put my uh, GoPro in here, if you like. So I'm gonna be filming using my um, scooter here. I'm gonna start off with my uh, GoPro Hero 7, <laughs> and then I'm gonna move to the uh, 3, just to see what sort of footage I get, I guess, with this one. Um, but yeah, we got something interesting going on here. Some kind of... Um, exposition or whatever I'm not sure what it is but um, I actually like these round tables here you can turn them into like these things you know like what do you call them um, you can wrap cables around them you know and then you can turn them into tables I really like this I like to have one of these for my home so if you guys have one of these save it for me <laughs> I actually want to get one of those they look pretty cool um, so anyway folks um, I'm going to be doing some videos uh, for you guys. Uh, you now I did delete my uh, video that I did on Turkey uh, in which I said that you know, that Turkey has made uh, you know, ties again with Israel, political diplomatic relations. It could actually expand the length of the rupture of the church. we we'll see how that pans out. I'm going to be talking about that more later there on the track. I actually deleted it because the video on my channel because I actually think that I can do a better video uh, on that, so we'll see what happens. Obviously, it's not a task set the Lord, but who knows? I, I, you know, it could be a spanner in the works, maybe, maybe not. Um, you know, next month, six weeks from now, we're going to have the Feast of Trumpets, Yom Teruah. And, uh, you know, it's a possibility that the rapture of the church can happen. Um, and it's a good Bible teaching, and... Uh, but to be honest, I, I don't think that the rapture of the church will happen uh, during Yom Ter this year's Rome Tayura. I just think that Israel has basically ran out of time to fulfill its timetable of impending in front uh, rapture of the church for Bible prophecies, which I always talk about on, on my uh, videos here on my channel. So perhaps I could do maybe one, maybe two, uh, who knows? We'll see. But. Um, you know, I just think that when the rapture of the church does happen, that will be actually, in fact, uh, the fulfillment of the Feast of Trumpets. And, uh, you know, um, the atonement will be done during the tribulation period with the two witnesses, Moses and Elijah. And the Feast of uh, Trumpets will be fulfilled when we come back with Jesus for the Millennial Kingdom. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Quick video here, heads up. I'm going to be filming on my Segway 9 bot uh, electric scooter here. <laughs> And I got my old-fashioned little camera box here, and I got my batteries in here. And uh, I like how it's got that checker plate, and uh, you can lock it. 
I bought it a while ago. It cost me only 10 bucks. I bought actually two, but I got one to my brother because he's also got GoPros as well. So it's pretty cool, huh? I'm gonna take the, uh, the protective lens cap off and uh, go filming for you guys. So um, always watch out for your lenses, don't get a scratch on them because then you'll wreck your video footage. So I only take them out when I go filming, so, and this one as well. So here we got my uh, chest mount. What's in my bag? Uh, water, <laughs> uh, wallet and things like that. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch up with you guys very soon. Um, don't forget to give my channel a like. I don't have many subscribers uh, and I like to edify the church with my videos. You know, perhaps you agree with me. Maybe if you could please give them a like to edify the church. I'd appreciate that uh, very much. And uh, yeah, beautiful day here. It's probably a good side. They're estimating about 20 degrees, so perhaps about 70 uh, Fahrenheit in the American scale. And uh, I'm gonna be going all around downtown and filming. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.